Major Payne is insane if he thinks he's going to win this game. Hello and welcome. I have three different pet battle teams that'll help you earn credit towards your achievement in Awfully Big Adventure, or even help you power level some pets. Maybe you just want to destroy Major Payne. Either way, we've got the strategy right here. What can I do for you? Yeah, yeah, the first team we're going to show you is the Little Bling Bling and an Emperor Crab. Little Bling is very easy to get and he's very effective against Major Pain and his pets. You're going to start off with extra plating, which is going to reduce damage taken by 50%. Then you're going to make it rain and then just use Smack That until you kill Grizzle. Now after this next Smack That, Grizzle is going to use Hibernate and he's going to attempt to heal up. But we do so much damage that Grizzle is not able to heal up and we're going to murder this baby blizzard bear. I did try a number of different teams and I also tried this team a few different times and I switched up the moves just to see how we would do. And a lot of the times Little Bling was able to kill Grizzle and Beakmaster. Now when Beakmaster comes up you want to use extra plating, refresh, make it rain and then you're going to use smack that. Now because we're not the boss of Beakmaster, he kind of does what he wants. He doesn't do his moves in the same order every time you fight him. Right now he's going to use Shock and Awe, and it has a 25% chance to stun, and it stuns. Whatever, it doesn't matter, it just means that we're not going to look as good in the video. Like I mentioned earlier, Little Bling is able to take out Grizzle and Beakmaster all by himself, but not if he gets stunned. Now, if you don't have a Little Bling or an Emperor Crab, we do have other pet battle teams in this video. If you check out the description, we have the timestamps of each of the fights, so you can fast forward to each fight and each strategy as you please. And actually, you can mix and match. So if you don't have an Emperor Crab at level 25, you can use an Anubisath Idol. If you don't have a Little Bling, you can use a Clockwork Gnome. Yay, uh, we like to bring you a variety, and we really hope this pet strategy helps you. Now when you have the Emperor Crab, you have Surge, which always goes first. So we just murdered the Beakmaster, in comes Bloom, and what we're going to do is we're going to use Shell Shield. And we're not even going to bother healing because Surge is strong enough to just kill Bloom. So we're just going to Surge until Bloom is dead. Now there's a few different crabs that you can use. You don't have to use an Emperor Crab. You just want to make sure you have one that has Shell Shield, Renewing Mists, and then also surge that way if your first pet isn't as effective as the little bling you still have a very effective crab that can heal reduce damage and is strong against elemental pets and that's the first strategy it's pretty simple and straightforward and we showed that one first just because we think it's the easiest and also those pets are very easy to get a little bling is cheap an emperor crab can be caught in the wild now for our second pet battle team we have the Clockwork Gnome and an Anubisath Idol. You want to start off with Build Turret. And then you're going to use Metal Fist twice and then you're going to build another turret. Now, what if I told you I only wanted to show you a couple different strategies just so I can hear this baby blizzard bear scream in pain? Ha uh ha. -huh. Now, how many of you are lucky enough to have a baby blizzard bear in your pet collection? Recently, we celebrated World of Warcraft's 10th anniversary and we got a Molten Corgi. Well, for the 4th anniversary, we got a Baby Blizzard Bear. Now, Grizzle was attempting to heal up with Hibernate, but just like the Little Bling, the Clockwork Gnome does enough damage to stop him from healing, as long as you do the moves in the right order. Now, in comes the Beaconator, and you just put a hurtin' on our Clockwork Gnome. You really just want to try to do as much damage as possible before the Clockwork Gnome finished. Ooh, the Clockwork Gnome is just not as effective as the Little Bling, but that's okay. We have one of the best pets in the game coming into battle, the Anubisath Idol. Now what you want to do is you just want to use Crush, and when you see Beaconator using Wind Up, you want to block it by using Deflection. Now we will use Sandstorm which will reduce the damage and Sandstorm will last for 5 rounds. 
Not only does Sandstorm reduce damage, it reduces the accuracy of all moves for you and your opponent. So be aware. Now you're just going to use Crush and you're going to finish off Beak Master. The Anubisath Idol is great in many pet battles against many pet trainers and can help you power level some pets and save yourself some time. So also in the description, I'll leave links to videos against pet trainers that I use the Anubisath Idol against. Now in comes Bloom and he uses Entangling Roots. Now what you want to do is you want to save your deflection for the round after he uses Entangling Roots. So you use it right there and then you avoid all damage from Entangling Roots. So you must save and use your deflection wisely. Always make sure to refresh Sandstorm because you want to reduce the damage you take from Lash. As you can see, this is a very close battle. It's not as easy as the first pet battle team we use, but as long as you have Sandstorm up, use your deflection properly, and just crush, you'll have no problem winning this pet battle and getting credit towards an awfully big adventure. Now, after this battle, we're going to show you one more pet battle team. We have the Skybow and a Jade Mist Dancer. If you have any other pets that'll help us win against Major Pain, please leave them in the comments. We always like to know what you think or how you are winning in pet battles. Click that like button. Make sure you're subscribed because we've got plenty more videos and guides to help you get credit towards an awfully big adventure. So thank you for joining us and take care everyone. Yeah.